Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. This one is a patron vote winner and it's one of my favourite songs. It's so lovely and this guy has a very interesting voice. It's Louis Armstrong and what a wonderful world. I see trees of green. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. His voice is one of the most distinctive voices of all time. And what makes it so distinct? Well, it is that gravelly sound. How is he doing that? Now, actually, he's doing something kind of interesting with his false vocal cords. So, well, it, it can be this and something else. One, he did smoke throughout his life. And you hear early on in his career, actually, his voice is a lot cleaner and a lot more smooth. But as he gets older, it does get huskier and huskier so that could have contributed but it really does sound like his false vocal cords which are just above the vocal cords themselves the true vocal folds and it's made out of ligament and mucous membrane and actually some people when they lose function in their actual vocal cords transfer the job to their false vocal cords now this does make a kind of gravelly sound kind of like this and i think what he is doing is using both his true vocal folds and his false vocal folds or cords you can call them both um at the same time simultaneously and you're getting this really cool sound with it which oh you don't really hear it that often <laughs> I see skies of blue, <laughs> clouds of white. So interesting. Bright, blessed days, dark sacred nights. So like he does really interesting things like um, skies of blue and he closes his mouth before the end of the note and then kind of sings through this really closed jaw and lets his vibrato wobble through. It's really, really interesting. Um, even on skies of white, he's always there, which is really interesting. It's not skies, it's clouds of white. <laughs> and I think to myself, See? Closed. What a wonderful world. <laughs> the colors of the rainbow. So pretty in the skies. Also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands. Say, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. Really cool. So he also uses a lot of sibling S's. Uh, friends. And he sings through that S again. It's really, really interesting. But he does another thing which went on to influence countless singers. He has a really behind the beat feel which influenced people like Billie Holiday and then Frank Sinatra. Um, he's never, well, he is sometimes, but he's not always dead on the beat. He's just a little bit after. It gives it a bit more laid, of a laid back sort of feeling. It's a very jazzy thing to do. I hear babies I watch them grow. They'll learn much more. It just makes me smile. I never know. And I think to myself, what I wonderful way. Yes, I think to myself. What a wonderful world. 
Of course, I have heard that song before and it has been a while since I've listened to it all the way through and there's something so kind of bittersweet in the time that we are living in and it's really nice to hear this song that's so full of joy. It just, it just got me. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do